you know, I guess my question for you is what's the best way to actually get a diagnosis so that if I, you know, if I can get that diagnosis, you know, I can sort of decide like, okay, I don't need this and I can, I can go with you and we can just go from there. Yeah. So, so here's what I would probably recommend is I think it would be worth it for us to have an initial consultation. That initial consultation with this route does not need to be in person. So we can start this all remotely, okay? With that, you'll have to send me all of the imaging that you've had and I will want the actual hard copy. So if you can get your hands on the hard copy of the DMX, uh, the CTs, the MRIs, everything you've had because I want to review them because there are actual findings on an MRI, such as the uh, uh, there's a Harris angle, Harris Benedict angle. There's a Clivo axial angle. There are different uh, measurements that can be seen on an MRI that can uh -huh. key us into ligamentous injury. Now it is it's not functional, meaning it's not like a DMX where you are actually going through a range of motion and you're getting to see the movement of the bones and things like that. But if we have information from kind of two or three different areas, meaning we've got a CT, we've got an MRI, we've got the DMX, uh, we go through your history in terms of symptoms, all that type of stuff. Then we can try and triangulate that, hey, I think it'd be worth coming out here for a hands-on physical exam. And then based on that physical exam, we would decide imaging if we need additional imaging. So that might be repeating a DMX and there's uh, one place out here that we've referred to that can do the DMX, or it might be doing a repeating the MRI with cervical flexion and extension. That's another way that we can get insight into uh, the ligaments because when you go into flexion and extension, um, there's obviously gonna be changes in the bones and the stress on the ligament. And so if we are seeing excessive angle changes or excessive shifts, uh, then we, again, we can make an approximation on what we think is damaged. Right. And so, uh, and then with our initial consultation, we can also start some of the systemic therapies, the different supplements, if we want to do some peptides, the lifestyle changes, all of that type of stuff, we can start that with the thought that even if you don't get a procedure with me and you end up going to Regenex for a procedure, you'll be you'll be better off because you're doing the things that, we would do if we were going to do a procedure and a procedure is a procedure and so um, that could be beneficial so that's that's what i think is probably the best way to to start because i'll need all of the uh, imaging information to know is this imaging information sufficient or do we need more 